Hello everyone. Uh, this will be super quick update in uh, backend. So in backend, uh, from time to time, it happens that solver uh, failed uh, to solve uh, some Python package. So solvers aggregate metadata of Python packages and we run solvers inside cluster. Uh, based on observations we had uh, in uh, uh, middle tier namespace, we saw that uh, some packages uh, were not released uh, pre-built for runtime environments and that required that uh, C toolchain was uh, run in some cases uh, for packages that require uh, native extensions. And uh, if packages were larger, uh, these native, uh, native extensions were not uh, built and uh, they were not built because of uh, timeouts uh, that, were, that was specified on solver. So uh, to still be able to analyze packages that require uh, building native extensions, uh, we created a new branch in Solver, Solver, sorry, Solver workflow. And uh, this branch is executed conditionally. So as you can see on the picture, uh, we have a Solver Any node that is a task that solves the given package. And if it uh, succeeds, then uh, the workflow continues with syncing solver results and sending messages. If the given task fails, that was the case for uh, solvers that failed to build uh, because of uh, low resources allocated for uh, building native extensions. Now uh, we go to a different branch in the workflow and this branch has more resources allocated uh, for solver. So we basically retrigger uh, solving uh, the given package, more resources allocated. And uh, the rest of the workflow is basically the same. So we sync results of uh, solver, uh, solver runs and send messages uh, to Kafka. Uh, why we introduced this uh, branch? So most of the packages were uh, solved with low resources, but some of them were failing. So uh, if we spot a failure, we allocate more resources and try to solve uh, the given package. This way we do not allocate a lot of resources uh, for most of the packages and for the ones that uh, fail, we basically retrigger, uh, we retry uh, with more resources. So this is the change on uh, in the uh, solver workflow and that's basically it. Do you have any questions? Not? Thank you.